Hi, this is David Lafreniere, a software developer for Jazz SEM. In this video, I will show you how to accept a change set with a gap in the Eclipse client. In this example, we're going to complete task 171, which says backport task 6 to RTC 3011. We can see we've set up a repository workspace flowing with RTC 3011, and we have no incoming or outgoing change sets. Now let's click on task 6 and accept the one change set. This dialog indicates that a gap has been encountered and that I do not have all the change sets which led up to the change set I am trying to accept. I can continue in order to merge those changes into a new change set. After the accept operation has completed, we can see the gap editor is opened up automatically. I will close the gap editor just so we can see how to open it up again in the future. We can see there's a pending gap resolution label decorator on the component. We can right click it and select open gap editor. In the changes to merge section, we can see the source change set. This represents the change set that we were trying to accept from task 6. We can see that two out of three changes are done. This means this change could not be auto-resolved, whereas the other two changes could be auto-resolved. One's a content modification change and the other is an encoding change. We can see they were automatically checked into the resulting change set. If you do not want to see the changes that are already done, we can use the filter at the top right. This can let you focus on the changes you will need to manually resolve. Clicking the Merge button on a content modification will open that change in a Compare Editor. This dialog reminds the user that the Compare Editor is only showing you the incoming changes from the change set being merged. Any outgoing changes between the local version and the source change set are not being shown. In a Compare Editor for gaps, the top pane represents the before state of the change set and the bottom right pane represents the after state of the change set. The left pane represents the local file. If we compare what changed between the before state and the after state, we can see that one method has been added. Therefore, we can copy that new method to the local file and save the compare editor. Scrolling up and down will show that there are no incoming changes, so I can go ahead and close the compare editor. In order to resolve content modification changes, we click Mark is done. At this point, the gap editor indicates that all changes have been merged and encourages us to inspect the resulting change set before completing it. We can see that the file that we just modified in the compare editor has automatically been checked into the resulting change set. At this point, we are free to inspect any changes in the resulting change set before completing it. For example, we can open up this file and verify that the method we added is there. In the gap editor, we can also add a comment to the resulting change set. So in this case, let's call it my backport of task six. We can also associate work items to the resulting change set. We will associate work item 171. The gap editor also provides an option to link the source change set and the resulting change set upon completion. We can now click the complete button and confirm that we do want to complete the resulting change set and that we do want to create a link. Since the current merge is now complete, and there are no change sets in the merge queue, the gap editor will automatically close. We can now go ahead and deliver the one change set that we just created in the gap editor. I will now show you one of the benefits of linking the source change set and the resulting change set. For example, you can click on the original change set from task six and select locate change sets. We can add RTC 3011 by clicking Add workspaces and flow targets shown in the pending changes view. Even though we actually delivered a newly merged change set, because of the link, it is reported as included indirectly. 